The World Championship is the ultimate goal for every professional Rocket League player. It's the place where the best of the best go to compete. And if you win, you are the best in the world. These players grind 8 to 10 hours every day with no weekends off. That means not only do you have to be SSL, you have to be the top 1% of the top 1%. But at the RLCS 2021-2022 World Championship, there was an imposter. Someone that wasn't in the top 1%, and someone that wasn't even SSL. The World Championship wildcard is where a team from every region has a chance to make it into the playoffs. The team we are going to be focusing on today is Gaiman Gladiators. The top APAC South team heading into the RLCS 2021-2022 World Championship. The top 8 teams got to choose who they would play against in the first round of the wildcard Swiss stage. Gaiman Gladiators got picked by Dignitas. You're on the clock, what's your pick? Yeah, so we've got uh, you know a few teams left, and uh, we've been doing our homework. Obviously, I have to have to scout the team and see who's you know going to be the easiest. Don't throw any shade, but some teams are looking better than others, um, and for that reason, oh. we are going to go with gaming gladiators. Not their best outcome, but they needed to prepare. Then tragedy strikes. One of the gaming gladiators players, Abs Crazy, gets visa issues. Well, that's GG's for me for this season. I filled out 10 plus visa applications and scheduled visa appointments in 5 different countries, even flew out to Indonesia. My org and I have been at this for over a month now. After all that, still didn't get a visa. Can't believe I'm not making it to Worlds due to a visa issue out of all things. Abs Crazy is one of the top players in that region. So who are they going to pick up to replace him? Not only that, but they don't have a lot of time. Well. They have one option, one man, one last hope for the world's run. Enter Commutator. Commutator is the GOAT of Rocket League. Gaming gladiators aren't the same without him because of his diverse skill set on offense and defense. <laughs> a relatively unknown player and a substitute for the Gaiman gladiators. One slight problem, Commutator is 15, 23 in threes and 14, 05 in twos. Doesn't matter, Commutator has a job to do. First match, Dignitas. And still has the redirect. Net in sphere that way. Half jet. Find the first goal through there. They come. Who oh, might have one gets been net. No half jet. A bit more. And they use the same way. And then this is up the mid. Wrap backboard reads. And yeah, that kind of went as expected. What about their second match, though? A one in esports. Okay, that was just as bad. Um, maybe third time's the charm. It's an SSA team this time. Um, the Orlando Pirates. I gotta go Pirates. Pirates! <laughs> there it is. They've got this one. There it is. is gonna win their first ever RLCS land game. It can't be that one sided, right? G give me, give me the Gladiators be. here. This, th this, this team is full. Certainly nice early push from the Gladiators here. Down to calm, and actually it's gonna work out perfectly. And the counterattack begins. Gladiators pressing right back up. Oh. Great big round in one. For Gladiators, they are back to back spring read oh. champions. And Snowy, who has one of the best shooting percentages on. On the other side for Pirates, first in Sprint Regional number one, and the runner-ups have oh. breakthrough. I mean, his lone pitch just pulled two defenders out anyway, and a great cut through the corner. Midfield, but another great corner, and a great oh. shot as well. It's now a tie ball game. One. Max Yu trying to close it out early, the flip reset, gonna push it, what? No! Not like this! An iota of power in LCT! There's a bump out, and then bumping this one out of four. Oh, and another shot. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Not for the beginning, I think it's shot. It's right. Well, just gonna skate through. Box, it should be good. Just leave it behind the net. And a oh. goal. Is again the that one is scored when they can't spin net. Finet again. Ah. The sharpshooter of midfield from Skill Steel makes it a two goal lead. 
close enough call. I like the idea, Commutator, you gotta get aggressive, try and put the pressure on him, and even if you don't make the challenge, you had Max Yu behind you, and unfortunately... Three to one. This game decides whether Gaming Gladiators goes home or has a chance at beating Orlando Pirates. Commutator, the player that's unqualified, unprepared, and unfit, needs to make a stand. He's Gaming Gladiators' last chance. He might only be a GC1, but Commutator has a job to do. Gladiators score with 6 seconds left, all but guaranteeing a game 6. They need to focus up and realize that this team is beatable. They've done it twice. All they need to do is beat them two more times. The thinnest of lines towards the back post and he will squeeze one by. Pirates, can you find an answer in 6 seconds or are we going to 6? How do they do this time and time again? There's a bump and that might have cleared the kickoff and killed it right where it stands. Commutator isn't going to give up yet. Commutator, as many other people have said in the past, is the GOAT of Rocket League. They've been their own biggest enemy in this series. Skill steal, looking for Dark. But a big punch out on the clear. Gladiators can breathe for the moment. But for a second, I got worried. That's a great challenge off the backboard as well. It quickly gets the ball back on to midfield. But Dark, the free jump. Oh, it's right on target. Oh. Go desperately downfield. There's boost certainly here. How long will it last? The pressure mounting. LCT funneling through. Numbers now up. Gladiators have a chance. The pace is ramped up as well. The way this one's playing out. Off the bar and out. Commutator trying at home. It's Steel Steel. Is able to get it out to safety? Max U to delay back the other way. There's a bump in the net. That's a huge clear by Max U. He's going to give it LCT. Okay. It's a one on one. Right in the front of the box. Uh, here comes Commutator. Two players hitting. They should be able to save this. See, they're fine. They had that all the way. Oh, good. The problem is not the, the transition boost for, for Gladiators. Whoever ends up with the possession has generally not had a lot to really work with is back to you and Darth. And try and vibe for position on the wall towards the net. Great day for Snowy. Second pinch as well. These rebounds go all the way of Gladiators. Still, here comes Max Yu. And he, I think he might have grabbed loose. No, still still will get the corner. He could continue this play from the side wall. He'll keep it high. Using the ceiling. Snowy. Towards the front of the box, quickly saved a demo. And now LCT following up as a lead blocker. It's quickly dealt with, Darth cutting it down. Now we're going back to these one-on-one -on -one games, the mind games for Gladiators and Pirates really come out in full force. Nice misdirection from Skill Steals. Felt LCT come with the physicality! Not every story has a happy ending, but Commutator did what a lot of players dream to do. He accomplished something, even if it was by accident. He played at the World Championship while being a GC1.